It's going to be so easy and fun. That's what we're gonna make. Yay. It's blurry. Today, we're gonna make a quick handmade photo ornament like this one. <laughs> and in order to make it, we're going to use polymer clay and an inkjet printer like this. So it's pretty low tech and so easy to do. So yeah, let's start and see how it works. So this is polymer clay, which is a type of modeling clay that can be shaped and baked. You can use any color or brand for image transfer, so check out the links to all the supplies I'm using today below this video. Basically, in order to use it, all you need to do is knead it, make it soft and nice, shape it, and bake it. I'm going to use white polymer clay for the ornament we're going to make today. Before continuing, I'm going to make some impressions on the back of the ornament. I like to do it before I cut my shape because I find that pressing the design into the shape tends to flatten and misshape it. In order to make the design, you can use a textured roller, a stencil, a stamp, or anything else you have on hand. Okay, so now let's shape the ornament. I like to use cookie cutters, but you can freehand it or even use something like a lid of a jar. And since I'm making an ornament, I'm going to use this traditional ornament shape. Okay, so now let's transfer the photo to the polymer clay. In a previous video, we used the laser printer for our image transfer. But today, due to high demand, we are going to use an inkjet printer. In order to transfer our photo to the ornament, I'm going to use matte medium, but you can use glue like Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. You don't need a lot of medium, just enough to cover the ornament. Now take the photo and place it face down onto the wet medium. Press it down with your fingers and also use the handle of your scissors to make sure there is a good bond between the photo and the clay. Now we are going to place it in the oven and bake on 275 for about 5 minutes. And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's on Amazon. And you're also going to love my new book, <laughs> the new Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's also on Amazon. <laughs> After baking for five minutes, let it cool down. Use a wet brush or your fingers to add clean water to the back of the transfer. You don't need a lot of water, just enough to make the image visible. Next, begin removing and peeling back the paper being careful to not remove the image. Next, we need to coat the transfer with glaze or varnish. and bake it in the oven according to the instructions on the package.
I think it's beautiful. <laughs> this was so much fun to do. I hope you find this video useful and fun. Uh, <laughs> And we're going and we're going to use we're going to use uh, and we're going to use polymer clay. I like to use cookie cutters. I hope you find this video useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more like this click here and I'll see you next time.